Hey guys, today we are showing you how to make low carb freezer breakfast burritos. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun. And then you have nice on the go breakfast without having to do all these steps. And it looks just like that when you or, bite into it. Or fight Mikey for the bacon and the eggs while you're while you're making it. My kitchen. I am Chris from Recipes at Croc.com. So am I. Only I'm not Chris. I'm Mikey. Hi. <laughs> we are here today to show you a really cool recipe that we like to use. Literally, it's cool because it goes in the freezer. <laughs> See what I did there? You're so chill. <laughs> So what we're going to show you guys how to do is how to make our favorite breakfast burritos, make it low carb, and then also make it so it can go in the freezer if you want it to, um, so that you can have a hot um, breakfast on the go, handheld breakfast on right the go. Right there. That, that is a picture of a burrito, <laughs> burrito right there. Right yeah. there. Um, um, in the mornings when you're busy. So we're going to show you how we do it. And then you can decide if you want to eat them fresh or if you want to eat them on the go. So. See, if you notice all the finished, we're doing some, we got finished already and we're getting ready to put some together. Mm -hmm. Notice how all are on that side because if not, I would sit here and just eat them because <laughs> they are super, super good. So one of, the, one of the really cool things about this recipe is we are using two other recipes from the website to make this. And so we're using our crock pot scrambled eggs which we already have a batch here look at that right there and we are using our air fryer fried bacon so mm -hmm. we have a batch of our scrambled eggs bacon. and a pound of our bacon yes. now this isn't a pound and that's not a full batch because we've already done half take that's, our word for it that's going to make about 12 breakfast burritos here's the really cool thing though if you ate the uh, crock pot scrambled eggs for um, breakfast one morning you could eat it for breakfast the scrambled eggs and then with the leftovers you can make up some breakfast burritos and toss in the fridge we've also made this with our low carb ham before and so if you want to use ham instead of bacon you can totally do that too if you want to use ground sausage instead of bacon you can totally do that too so it's all depending on what you want in, versatility everybody in your breakfast burritos so what makes this low carb versus the high carb version is, well, one, we've made our scrambled eggs low carb with that recipe, but then we're also using the, uh, uh, it's a, it, it's upside down. carb balance. Um, Mission makes these. Yeah, we're making a low carb uh, tortilla, we're using a low carb tortilla. Now, you can get, there's all kinds of different brands, you know, we're not, this is just the one we use. Yeah. Um, the other thing to consider is this is the smaller size. I forget what size, how big these are. Um, I want to say, are they they're eight? They're the soft taco size. So are they eight or 10 inches? Is Those are ten eight inches. inches. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. So that's also a big difference because we're not using the burrito yeah, size eight like eight we do one. in our traditional freezer burritos. So they're about this big. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we've got a batch of our crock pot eggs, we've got a batch of our air fryer bacon, and we've got two cups of shredded cheese. And all you're going to do is you're going to kind of eyeball it and you're going to kind of take just a little bit of cheese. There you go. And you're going to take about a slice of bacon. You just want to crumble. Oh, I meant to do the eggs first. You can do it in whatever order you want. You've made a burrito before. so. And if you haven't, it's super easy. And then just take a scoop of the eggs. The biggest thing here is to uh, make it all fit. Okay, let's put that over there. And the other key thing that I forgot to mention because I'm all over the place here, is you want clean paper towels. And I prefer to do the ones without the print on them for this because the paper towels are a very critical piece of this whole thing. Of if you're gonna freeze them. So we've got our burrito. We're gonna make it into a little pouch by folding the sides like Mikey's showing you. And then we're gonna just roll it in the paper towel and fold the sides down and put it with the rest of them. Okay? Uh, now Let's see if I paid attention. Okay, so Mikey's so, gonna try it. Actually, we're gonna do a little race, I think. Oh, well, I 
I'm sorry, but I'm gonna win. Are you ready? And wait, 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 go, wait, go. wait, wait. <laughs> You crumble the bacon. You didn't listen. Okay, and now for the fold. I can't remember how to fold it. Okay, <laughs> fold it that way. I'm right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Even I, with you taking my spoon. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. Dear, that looks a little sad. Hey! <laughs> That's delicious. <sighs> Goodness. So. Remember what I said about if you put the ingredients for me, I'm just going to eat it? Okay. Well, <laughs> ideally what would happen is you would go ahead and make this eight times. Or, I'm sorry, 12 times. Excuse me. <laughs> and then what you're going to do is you're going to take a freezer bag and you're going to put all your burritos neatly down in there trying to keep them into the little bundles that they are. You can stack them on top of each other. It's going to be fine. And you're going to go ahead and put them in a freezer for up to a month. And um, then when it comes time to enjoy your freezer burrito in the morning, what you're going to do is you're going to take it out of the freezer bag, take one out of the freezer bag, Put it on a plate, leave it inside of your um, paper towel, and you're going to cook it for 60 to 90 seconds on each side. So you cook it for 60 seconds, flip it, flip it over, 60 seconds. It depends on your microwave. You just want to make sure that the center's heated through. So you're going to have to check it. Your microwave might take up to 90 seconds to heat it all the way through. And then you have nice on-the-go breakfast without having to do all these steps. No, it looks just like that when you or, bite into it. Or fight Mikey for the bacon and the eggs while you're while you're making it. What I like about these burritos, other than the fact it's got bacon in it, is there's a lot of cheese because that make ahead we're doing this from the make ahead uh, scrambled eggs we have. And of course they're really creamy. They've got a lot of mozzarella cheese in them. And then when you mix it with that cheddar cheese there at the end and then like when you put it in the microwave it'll all kind of meld in together. That is super, super good. I'd be good with some low-carb salsa. That'd be good with hot sauce. That's good just the way it is. It's very yummy, and it's definitely something that uh, even people who enjoy carbs, um, I don't think they're going to really notice a difference in these tortillas. This is all we use now, and I, when we first got these, this kind of the low-carb tortillas, they're really high in fiber, and these are the these. Uh, soft taco size are six net carbs per tortilla, mm -hmm. and I, they taste like tortillas. I really, there is no difference to me from a regular flour tortilla in these at all. They're really, really good. Hang on, any more? I'm trying. I'm about out. <laughs> but if you like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. If you are not already a member of the Crock Posse, We'd love for you to click subscribe and become a member of our slow cooking family around here. But whatever you do, make sure you click the dingaling. Oh, sorry. Because if skipped you want to know, as soon as we put out a video, I'm talking with my mouth. I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> click the little bell. It's called the dingaling. That's what we call it. And if you hit it, you'll know as soon as we put up a new video. And y'all, whatever you do, laugh often. Eat good food. And speak life. Bye, guys. Hang on, bye. No, <laughs> I'm making these. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Hi, and welcome back. Let's do it again. Three, two. You never tell me if it's me or you. Ready? Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. Your He's being a pain in the butt. Three, two, one. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. If you think we're funny, enough to send us money, like the people.